What's up YouTube? Hagar coming at you with another video and I'm doing some chuck riblets today. Some beef ribs. Uh, I've, I've never eaten beef ribs and I've never uh, barbecued beef ribs but I ordered some Caribbean Q beef rub big and bold and I felt like this was a good thing to try them out on. I'm uh, going to try to go 250 degrees for a couple hours, wrap them up, let them come to about 195 and uh, they should be good and tender and juicy. Not tried the uh, big and bold yet, but I'm excited about it, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna put a little Worcestershire, Worc Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce on here and just kind of rub it in. Haven't removed the membrane. We're just gonna score it on the back and we're just gonna put some of our rub on here. I've got four of these little sets of ribs all together and uh, we're just gonna make sure this is all nice and covering. Let's see what kind of nice bark we can get. It smells really good. Sorry I'm sniffling my allergies. Listen, it's taken me like 30 minutes just to get ready for this video because I've been sneezing my head off. So hopefully I make it through it. But we're just going to put some of this rub on here. Nice thick layer. Flip these over. Like I said, we're just going to score them. Try not to cut my finger off. I mean, I don't know. I guess these would be like regular pork ribs. Uh, but I don't think there's not a lot of meat on the back side, so I really don't see uh, you know you eating off of the bone on the back side. Plus, you know, if you score them and they get real tender, I've seen that people say that the membrane holds them together. I don't know, we'll find out today. Like I said, never done them before, so I really don't know why I'm putting seasoning on the back, but we'll give it a little bit on the tips there just so we can say it's good and covered all over. If you guys do beef ribs a lot and uh, you know you have any particular way of doing them or something you want to share with me, be sure to comment down below and let me know. I appreciate all the feedback I've been getting here lately guys. I haven't been able to do a video in, in a week on cooking and uh, I told them today at work that I had to get one done because man I was going through withdrawals or something there. So we'll go ahead and get these uh, seasoned up here ready for the pit. I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator for a little while while the thing comes up to temp. I've heard that that gives you a nice smoke ring when it's cold. I don't I don't know guys. I'm not a pro. But we're going to get the Pecos going about 250. And uh, we'll be back. I'll let you see when I put them on there. Y'all stay tuned guys. Alright, we're out here at the Pecos. I've got my water pan. And we're just going to go... go for a couple hours until they get around 165 ish and then we're gonna wrap them up let them come to 195 pull them off I don't know <laughs> you guys my allergies kill me <laughs> oh anyway y'all stay tuned we'll be eating them here in a little bit uh, like I said my brain ain't working I'm doped up on Benadryl <laughs> see you in a little bit Alright guys, these beef ribs are done. I'm super pleased with the way they come out. Got a lot of drawback on the bones. Uh, they're super tender. Came up to about 2, 202, 203 um, with, the, with the instant read thermometer. Um, after I wrapped them, I wrapped them at around 160, 165. And then I left them wrapped for an hour. They set up for about 30 minutes now. And uh, I just, I can't wait to cut into them. Uh, the Caribbean Q Big and Bold Beef Rub. Um, it didn't seem to disappoint. It's got a good bark on here. The smell is awesome. You got that good beef smell, but then you also, also can smell the spices of the rub. Let's go ahead and cut into one. Let 
All right, we got some good fat going through there. Nice little marbling. And then we've got an awesome smoke ring right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's super cool. I've never had a smoke ring turn out that, that uh, you know, that that way that's, that's standing out like that. Super th thick. That's pretty neat. I'm super pleased with that. Well, here, let's do what we came to do. Let's try out this uh, big and bold beef rub. Mm. Just like you'd expect from a any kind of beef spice, lots of hints of of, of salt, a uh, little bit of pepper in there. It's got a good good uh, savory flavor, not a whole lot of sweet. Mm. That's super good. That smoke flavor is really coming through there. I didn't use. So, you know, I've got the offset and I usually do uh, burn sticks. What I did is I took a 15 pound bag of Royal Oak uh, lump and I just lit up one side. I just took half of that bag, put it in the in the firebox, lit half of it, and I put about, I don't know, four or five cherry wood chunks in there. And then I did have some uh, leftover uh, coals from the last time that I did a cook. So, all that... It held temp right at 250. One time I walked out and it jumped up to about three. I backed it down, kept it right at that 250 mark. And like I said, it, it was a quick cook. These things aren't real thick. They're not real meaty. Um, probably about five hours total. And uh, I'm super pleased. I've never had beef ribs before, but these things are awesome. Better stick to the one I've already bitten off of. Now I didn't take the membrane off. As y'all saw, if I do them again, I will. Uh, you saw it just now pull away. Membrane, though, if I wanted to, I could go back and just remove it before eating. But this is like steak on a stick. Now, these aren't your big dino, bone, dino bones or anything like that. Uh, these are just riblets. Um, little short plate ribs, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, guys. Caribbean. It's the first time I've tried it out. I haven't gotten to try the Honey Heat. I've got some of it. Um, I'll be doing a video shortly with it, but this stuff is awesome. Um, I wish I had put this on the brisket. Uh, this is this is really good. It gives a good flavor to the meat. It's not overpowering, not too salty, but you can still taste the salt. It brings that savoriness out of the beef. Super pleased with these beef ribs. Uh, I might have another set of ribs that I enjoy doing all the time. Y'all know I love my pork ribs, spare and baby backs. Uh, this might be a very close second to my favorite thing to cook now. Super easy. Wasn't a lot of management to it. Waited till they come up, like I said, around 160, 165. And then uh, the, the hardest part of today was fighting allergies. <laughs> if you follow me on social media, you saw me having a rough go today. But this cook was awesome. I'm going to go eat. I'm starving to death. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Everything that you're doing for me. Be sure to go and follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Both of those links are going to be in the description box below. Go check out Caribbean Q. I'll put a link to their Instagram. Um, that's really the only social media that I know they have. Uh, they don't sponsor this video or anything like that. I just wanted to try this stuff out. And um, check it out. If you get a chance, go check it out. And uh, let me know what you think about it. I, I'm a big fan so far. Like I said, first time I've used the Big and Bold, and I've used the um, Honey Heat on, like, small stuff, some chicken, but I haven't smoked anything with it. My wife likes it on, um, she's put it on popcorn. I, I don't know. But anyway, go check me out on social media. Be sure to check out some Caribbean Q, and then also, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and uh, stick around. We'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. God bless.